My name is Amanda Hartman and I'm one of the speech pathologists here on the team at Assistive Wear and today we are looking at Proloquo for Text. This video will give you some ideas for how you might configure and customise Proloquo for Text for a person with a physical impairment. There are lots of things we can do. The first lot of customization we can make are to the appearance within the app. Slight changes to the appearance and size of items in the app, as well as changes to the locations of things, could make a difference for many. The second list of features we will look at are how the Apple iOS accessibility settings can be utilised within the app. There are a few accessibility settings designed for physical impairments, and they work well within Proloquo for Text. Let's look at the app now. Here in the app, we are currently looking at the default settings for the app. I can go into Options and then Appearance to make a few key changes to how the app looks. These changes may help if a person has a physical impairment and has some difficulty accessing or pressing the buttons in the app. Firstly, we can turn on large icons. This makes the toolbar and toolbar buttons bigger. It also makes the play and other buttons on the text pad larger. On Friday, I'm going to the beach. Next is controls. Currently, they are located here at the bottom of the text pad. For some, they may have difficulty accessing them in this location. Instead, you may move them to the top. To do this in options, here in appearance, I click on controls and I simply click top. Now they are at the top of the text pad. Okay, let's move them back to the bottom as we continue to look through the appearance settings. Next we can look at the quick blocks. By increasing the font size here, like this, we can see that it also makes the buttons and the grids larger so that they'll actually possibly be easier to press and access for some. Another important customization for the quick blocks is where they are positioned within the app. By default, different quick blocks are allotted to either side. However, if the user has more reliable access on the left side of the screen, then we could move all the quick blocks to be located on the left side. Let's try that. Phrases is already on the left side but quick is on the right. So let's change that by ticking left. Conversation is also on the left side, so that's fine. But history is on the right side. So let's go ahead and move this also to the left side. Let's see how that looks. Now there is no quick block on my right side, so the text pad fills out that space. And now all my quick blocks are on this left side. I can see them by tapping the menu at the top, or I can click and hold to get the drop down menu. What about word prediction? By default, the word prediction appears as the white bar directly above the keyboard. What are some options to make this easier to access? Well, firstly, I can change the size. So back into options and I'm still in appearance and at the bottom here, we can see that we can change the font size for the keyboard word prediction. Let's change that up to size 36 and then we'll see how that looks. Now up to size, the largest size, which is 52. Now the font is larger and consequently the word prediction bar is also larger and therefore will be easier to press for some. Some people might have difficulty accessing word prediction in its current location above the keyboard. So another option is to put word prediction into the quick block. So if we go back into options and I'm still in appearance, I'll back out of where I was. And now I'm going to look for word prediction here in the quick blocks. Here it is. It is turned off, but if I turn it on, and I'll leave it on the right side, although I could also put it on the left, and there is my word prediction on the side. This may be easier to access for some. With word prediction on the side, 
I don't also need it above the keyboard. So I go into options and still in appearance. And now I have to turn off keyboard word prediction by sliding this toggle. And now I just have word prediction appearing on the side where it suits me best. So we have looked at some of the appearance settings that can be customized to suit someone with a physical impairment. What about the Apple accessibility settings? There are features within the iPad settings that will help con the control and use of Proloquo for text if you have a physical impairment. Let's go into the iPad settings to look at some options. I go into general and then open accessibility. These are features developed by Apple to accommodate for the different user accessibility needs. These accessibility features can be applied to not only Proloquo for text, but also to any other apps you may use on your iOS device. The main two features that we will look at are switch control and touch accommodations, both of which features work well in Proloquo for text. Firstly is switch control. Switch control is designed to operate all of the iOS device and the apps within it via a switch. If you use an external switch, you will need to connect this via Bluetooth switch interface or direct connection, depending on the type of switch system you have. I can connect a single switch or two switches or even more, depending on my current access setup and switch skills. I also have the option to use the iOS screen as a switch, which means I can tap anywhere on the screen to replicate a switch press. And that's what I'll demonstrate today during this video. So let's have a look at switch control in the accessibility settings. But wait, before we open up switch control here, we're going to head all the way to the bottom of the accessibility settings so that we can set up accessibility shortcuts. This is basically the easiest way to turn on and off switch control and other accessibility settings. If you are playing around with switch control and get stuck, then this shortcut can be very helpful. So I go in here and I make sure that I have a tick next to switch control. The shortcut is if I triple click the home button, then I can turn any of these accessibility features on or off. Now that I have that selected, let's go back now and open up the switch control settings. There are a few settings in switch control that we can modify to suit a user. I'm going to keep it really simple today so we can demonstrate how switch control works in Proloquo for text. So firstly, are my switches. You can see here that I already have a switch set up. It's the full screen and its action is set to select item. Basically, when I press anywhere on the screen, it will act as a switch hit. If I click on this, you can see that there are many scanner and system actions that can be controlled with a switch. For single switch user, I just need to select item as my action. This is also where I would go to add another switch, where I can link an external switch, use the screen or the camera as a switch. But let's just use the full screen as switch today. Other things to consider might be scanning time, loops, so how many times it will scan through, and perhaps you might like to look at sound effects, speech, cursor color, all of which can be customized. The only other thing that I always do when I first start out with switch control on iOS is the tap behavior here. The tap behavior describes what happens when the select item action is activated or what happens when you hit the switch to select something. The default behavior is for the scanning menu to pop up. This means a user may need an extra switch hit to select things. And for when we first start out, this can be difficult. I have found it more useful to set the tap behavior to auto tap. This means when I hit the switch, it will select the item. If I want the switch menu, I need to tap twice. So let's leave our tap behavior here on auto tap and back out. I think we are ready to try switch control. 
If I turn on switch control here in the accessibility settings, it will turn on immediately and I would need to start scanning even to exit these settings. Instead, I will double tap and open up Proloquo for text. Now that I'm in Proloquo for text, I can turn on switch control using that accessibility shortcut by triple clicking the home button. I click it quickly three times and switch control starts. The Apple switch control automatically finds areas within the app to scan through. So let's turn it on and try to say something. One, two, three. Switch control has started. Tap. Phrases. I want to go into about me. Okay, in here. And I'm scanning through there. So my name is. And now I'm going to go down to the keyboard and start typing my name. So you can see actually on word prediction, it's. Um, it's guess that I'm trying to write Amanda. So let, but let's just add a, another letter just because we can. You can see I'm just tapping anywhere on screen. And now I can scan through my word prediction bar. Amanda. Good job. Oh, now we need to get a full stop. We can do that. Scan, 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 select. And let's get a full stop. My name is Amanda. It's going to read it out to you there. And we will go out of our keyboard so that we can scan, go back. Not that bit there. There we go. So now we've got our quick talk menu that I've changed over to. But I didn't get it in time. So now I'm going to scan the quick talk menu. It's going through the different quick talk things that I can say. How are you? To turn it off, I will triple click. So I was just demonstrating single switch scanning then. It took a little bit of time, but that was just a quick demo for you using switch control in Proloquo for text. Now, what about that other iOS accessibility setting we saw, touch accommodations? Let's go back into settings to check. Basically, these were designed for people with some physical or motor difficulties so that we can change how the device screen responds to touch. Again, you may wish to add touch accommodations to your accessibility shortcuts so you can turn them on and off easily with the triple click of the home button. So let's go ahead and do that. Accessibility shortcuts. We'll turn off switch control and we'll tick touch accommodations now. Okay, let's look at touch accommodations. They're basically, there are three. Hold duration. This means that you must touch the screen for a time duration that you specify before the touch is recognized. This means accidental hits, if your finger taps or drags, are not recognized. Only when your finger is held down for a duration will the tap be recognized. Next is ignore repeat. This means that if you accidentally make multiple touches, for example, if you have a tremor or a shake and you touch lots of times, then these multiple touches will be ignored or treated as a single touch. You can also turn on tap assistance and there are two options for this. Again, this feature is if your hand possibly drags on screen. So for use initial touch location, if you touch the screen at the place you want, but your finger drags to a different place before you can make a selection, then you would turn on tap assistance with use initial touch location. 
Use final touch location if you have trouble touching the screen at the place you want, but you can move to it by dragging from another place. Then you would turn on tap assistance to use with final touch location. All right, so why don't we try hold duration for this demonstration and see how it works in Proloquo for text. So I'll turn it on and then I just have to specify the time duration that I would need to hold my finger down. Um, so perhaps we can say 0 0.25 seconds. Okay, let's double tap and go back into Proloquo for text. Now I'm here, I'll triple click because I have accessibility shortcut on for touch accommodations. One, two, three, and you can see it's popped up and said touch accommodations have been enabled. Now, as I access the app, I will need to hold down my finger for the 0 0.25 seconds to access that touch. Excuse me. So I had to hold my finger down to access that. Let's back. Let's hold down and get phrases. So everything I'm doing, I actually have to hold my finger down. For that bit longer. I can't just tap things, it doesn't let me. Now I triple click to turn touch accommodations off. One, two, three. This video has focused on customizations in Proloquo for text for people with physical impairments. These are just suggestions and it is important that a user find the right set of customization that suit their needs. If you need any further information, please check our website for more resources and videos. You can also contact our support team. Thank you.